again, viewers. Tonight's program will be a lay special where we feature activities held in lay over the weekend. First up, we have the match of the week, followed by a story of the PNGFA men's national team in their preparations for the Nations Cup at the PNGFA Academy. We then have a story for you from the Just Play program held at the International School in Ley. And to end the program, we have highlights of the Ley Football Association competition held over the weekend. But for now, let's check out all the action in this match between Zilu West and City United of the LFA competition. Enjoy. Supporters and fans of the two competing teams, City United and Zilu West, turned up in numbers to show their support to the teams at the Lay Football Association ground last Saturday. Zilu West went hard in the opening minutes holding the opponents at bay as City boys struggled to penetrate through the back line. The Western boys fought their way in the 15th minute past City United's front line with the opening goal, followed by the second goal in the first half 10 minutes later. Realizing the downfall in the midfield area, City United retaliated in the remaining minutes feeding the midfielders but couldn't find their targets. Zilu couldn't come easy on the City boys with the attempts go begging in the final minutes before the halftime visual. Coming back from the halftime break, City United gained momentum with the first goal through Armstrong Pekka. Freddy Simon scored the equalizer 10 minutes later after a long struggle with a 2 nil scoreline. With several unsuccessful attempts by Zilu, the boys in white maintained a good defense and denied them access. Heading towards the full-time whistle, the young guns pressured forward with the aim to win the match, but City United guarded the territory well as the leading Zilu West attempts failed. City United's Kupa Ipako scored a result 10 minutes in the final whistle after missing a 1-on-1 -on opportunity in the goal area. City United won the game in the final whistle 3-2 with a one-point difference on the progressive points ladder while Zilu West remained on 16 points. With eight countries vying for the Nations Cup, our PNGFA men's national team is under intensive training at the PNGFA Academy under the watchful eye of Frank Farina. Let's check out this story with David Kessing. Two thousand and twelve has been a busy year for the PNG Football Association in preparing its representatives for international tournaments and championships, starting with the Pacific Games in Nomea the men and women Olympic qualifiers, the under-17 and the under-20 women. Our men will be taking part again in the OFC Men's Nations Cup in Honiara early next month. They will be playing against other Pacific Island countries to qualify directly to the FIFA Confederations Cup Brazil 2013. In preparation for the event, a total of 32 players have been going through intensive physical training at the Football Academy for the past two weeks. Head coach Frank Farina have been monitoring each player's performances to finalize the squad by the end of this week. The boys will have to impress Farina with the performances for a spot in the final squad. Yeah, the preparation has been, uh, has been going very well. We've been in training camp now for two weeks and you know, the, the two weeks has been based on you know, physical preparation, also uh, technical and tactical preparation for the team and uh, obviously we want to finalize the squad. Um, in terms of naming the 23 players, which will be done uh, at the end of this week. The OFC Men's Nations Cup, which acts as Ocean State to qualifiers for the 2014 FIFA World Cup Brazil, will take place at Honiara from 1st to the 10th of June and featuring eight teams around the Pacific region. The winner will qualify directly to the FIFA Confederations Cup Brazil 2013, while the four highest placed teams will go on to contest Stage 3, a round robin home and away playoff series set to take place between 7 September 2012 and 26 March 2013 next year. The Just Play program was rolled out in Ley at the beginning of April this year and has been successful in the participating schools of the province. Here's a story during a visit of the manager of the Just Play program at the International School of Lay last Friday. The Lay's International School children not only play football during the Just Play sessions, but also use their recess time as an opportunity to play in the school premises. The Just Play manager, Taku Niebo, who paid a visit to the school last Friday, was overwhelmed with the progress of the program when he found out how much the students have learned during the six-week implementation program. 
Starting off today's session, the students were grouped into three groups for the 30 minute session on the dribbling and shooting skills by the two volunteer teachers as the excited students listened attentively. I think it was uh, interesting. I taught some of us a lot how to dribble and stuff. So I think some of us learned uh, new stuff today. After going through the drills, they played the usual small sided game beneath the midday sunshine on the grassy school lawn. I have learned a lot of new things and I really enjoyed it. The students could not get enough of the 30 minute session and spent the lunch hour just playing soccer as we were leaving the premises. A busy weekend for the LFA local competition involving youths in four divisions every Saturdays. Here are some of the highlights of the competition held over the weekend. I wanted to see them do something different. Keep them out of mischief. This is where we wrap up Soccer Extra for tonight. Do join us again same time on MTV. You can also log on to our website www.pngfootball.com.pg for the latest stories and activities of PNGFA. From the media team and PNG Football Association, good night.